Records on. I'm telling you, not asking you to put your records on. There's something in this mug. I got like two drops of water. Where's my coffee? Who are you? Put your records on by Corleen Morleen Borleen. I don't know her name. How is that possible? Corinne Bailey Ray. I knew it the whole time. I was just testing you. We are gonna actually learn this song. I'm not. I'm not just gonna act crazy the whole time. We're gonna learn it. Standard tuning. Standard guitar. Standard human being. I'm a normal human being on the normal planet Earth. Whew, take a deep breath. First thing you need to do is play the second string from the top open. You're gonna go ba ba ba. We're not using a pick, guys. We're using fingers. Bung, bung, bung. What I like to do as well for this right here is I just palm mute ever so slightly. Just the tiniest little palm mute. This part of my hand just touches right here and I go just like that. So bum, bum, bum. Hey, bum, bum, bum. That rhythm. We're gonna feel for pretty much the whole song. That's the first chord, is just that one note. Bum, bum, bum. Then, we're gonna go to this chord here. It's an F sharp minor six. Middle finger, second fret, top string. Second string from the top is gonna be open or muted. We're not gonna play it, it doesn't matter. Pointer finger plays the first fret on the third string from the top. Ring finger plays second fret on the third string from the bottom. Pinky plays second fret, second string from the bottom. So again, that was two, then muted, then one, two, two. And then the bottom string is also going to be muted, but we're also just not gonna play that string. So it doesn't really matter. On this chord, here's what I do. I have my three fingers, my pointer, middle, and ring finger are just kind of grabbing onto the bottom of those three strings down there. So pointer finger on the third from the top, middle on the third from the bottom, ring finger on the second from the bottom. I'm gonna play ba ba ba. I'm just going one, two, three, that same rhythm. And then right after that, thumb plays the top string. So it's ba 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 pow. So now we've got a a a, and then uh uh uh, hey. Then we go all the way up to here. Pointer finger is going to bar. There's the, just the tiniest little bit of barring in this song. Your pointer finger is gonna bar the bottom five strings on the seventh fret. So just get your pointer finger right there. You may use your middle finger to help that finger push down. That's what I do. And then your pinky plays the ninth fret on the very bottom string. And then it's gonna be thumb is gonna be resting right on top of the second string from the top. Your pointer finger is gonna grab onto the bottom of the third string from the bottom. Middle finger, second string at the bottom, ring finger, bottom string. So I've got those three, I'm gonna pinch those together like this. Do it twice, you go pow, pow. This is an E sus, guys, an E7 sus chord. It's actually like an E7, E13 sus chord. It doesn't matter, some sort of an E sus chord. That's what matters. You do that two times on that, pow, pow. And then we go to this guy here, an E9 chord. Middle finger, ninth, seventh fret, second string from the top. Pointer finger, sixth fret, third string from the top. Ring finger, seventh fret, third string from the bottom. Pinky, seventh fret, second string from the bottom. And you're gonna play those middle four strings. You're gonna grab them all and pinch them together like that. So that was pa pa pa. One, two, three. And then we're done with the intro. That is the whole intro right there. So the whole intro goes like this. Hey! No, I messed up. There it is. Uh, you notice I do a little bit of a little slapping of the strings. Let's figure out where I do that. I go bum, bum, bum. Right there, I go a, a, a. Then I just smack my hands down on the string. A little percussive sound. I don't think it's mandatory but I think they do it when they play the song and it sounds good, so it's A, 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 slap. Uh, this one, ba, 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 thumb, ba, 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 then slap right there, and then we start the actual singing of the song. Let's play the intro one more time. I'm a little scattered. I'm a little scattered. I'm trying to remember what I said about how we are gonna learn the song, not just me acting crazy the whole time, but I'm struggling a little bit today. Guys, 
I, I'm struggling a little bit. One, two, here we go. And thump, thump, thump. Slap, ba, ba, ba. Thump, pack, pack, poo. Slap. How'd you do? Did you do great? Probably not. I mean, if you just learn these chords, you're like, that was way too fast. I don't know it at all. Let's learn the verse. The verse is almost exactly the same as the intro. The only difference is at the very end. Check it out. Verse goes pa pa pa. The same pa 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 da. On that second chord, if we're being totally honest, full transparency on that second chord, the F sharp minor six chord. For the intro, we do that thing where we go pa pa pa, then thumb. What I do for the verse, I think this is what they do for the verse. I'm just going pa pa. So I'm pinching all four of those notes together with my thumb on the top from the very beginning. Pinch, pinch, pinch. It just sounds a little fuller, and I just like doing it that way. Fuller House, DJ Tanner, you know what I'm saying. Bum, bum, bum. Uh. Then we go back up to here. Exactly the same. Here's the only difference between the verse and the intro. At the end of the verse, we play an A chord. We go. There's a few ways you can do the A chord. I think most of the time when they play it live, they do it like this. So what's going on here is pointer fingers playing the fifth fret on the second string from the bottom, middle fingers playing six on the third string from the bottom, ring fingers playing seven on the third string from the top, and then the thumb comes up, up, up over the top and pushes on the fifth fret of the top string those four notes together. That's a perfectly fine. And I, like I said, I think that's how they do it much of the time. But I think it's so much easier to play the A down here for this. So the way I do this, I have my pointer finger play the second fret on the third string from the top. And then I just mash my pointer finger down onto the next two strings like that. So I'm playing open, second string from the top, then second fret, second fret, second fret. I pinch those four strings together. You also can do your regular A like this if you like. You can do a bar chord A. If we're being honest, any A will do. And I've watched many live videos of this song. They, guys, they don't always play it the same. Sometimes there's a different guitarist and they play it a little different. Whatever. I do it like this. Part of why I do it like this is because occasionally in the song they throw in this little guy. And it's really hard to go. Oh wait, that's not hard at all. Never mind. Well. Whatever, what I just did there was I played the top string open, hammered onto the second fret, and then played the beginning of the verse again. So it's just this little like, quick little fill that leads back into the verse. I feel like, I feel like I should show you what I'm talking about. We go like this, we go A, A, A. Uh, well, that wasn't a good demonstration at all. Let's try that one more time. A, A, A. Hammer A. Uh, that's how they started over. So, okay. Let's do this. The verse is the A string, then the this guy, and then the bang, bang, boom, and then whatever A chord you feel like playing. Okay? Let's do the intro. The intro is just the first three chords. It's A, F sharp, E sus, and then you start. The verse is you throw the A chord at the end. Let's do the intro, and then let's do the verse two times. One! Two, three, four, intro. And uh, uh. Then the verse. Oh! See what I did there? You don't have to. It just sounds good. They do it sometimes in the recording. Okay. Now we've made it to the pre-chorus. There's another bar chord. This is another one of our bar chords. We have to play an F sharp minor bar chord. There are many ways to do this the way that I do it. Unnecessary words. I'm trying to use less unnecessary words. Yeah, right. Never going to happen. Pointer finger bars the second fret on all of the strings. Ring finger plays the fourth fret on the second string from the top. Pinky plays the fourth fret on the third string from the top. F sharp minor. There, you play that. You go one, you just hold that, two, three, four. Then we go to a C sharp seven chord. C sharp seven is a little tricky to get to. Ring finger, fourth fret on the second string from the top. Middle finger, third fret, third string from the top. Pinky, fourth fret, third string from the bottom. And pointer finger, 
the second fret on the second string from the bottom, and you play those four middle strings. You just hold that out for four beats. So now we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then we go to an F sharp minor seven. F sharp minor seven is easy. Pointer finger, second fret, top string. Skip the second string from the top. Middle finger, second fret on the third string from the top. Ring finger, second fret, third string from the bottom. And pinky, second fret, second string from the bottom. You're gonna grab onto those four strings that we're pushing on over here. So top, skip the second from the top, then go third, fourth, fifth from the top. You're gonna pinch those and hold it out for four beats. Now, this F sharp minor seven chord makes a really good substitute for the F sharp minor. So if you really don't want to do that F sharp minor uh, bar chord at the beginning of the pre-chorus, right here, you can just do this chord. So you can go F sharp minor seven, then the C sharp seven, back to F sharp minor seven. Let's listen to how similar these sound. F sharp minor, F sharp minor seven. See, they're very, they're not exactly the same, but they're close and close enough for love. Close enough for jazz, close enough for the person whose name is Corinne Bailey Ray. I knew it the whole time. After that, F sharp minor seven. We're gonna go to a B9. Here's how you switch to B9. You keep your ring finger and pinky in the same spot, lift up your pointer finger, move your middle finger to the second fret of the second string from the top, and then put your pointer finger on the first fret of the third string from the top. And you're gonna pinch together those middle four strings. Just like that. That's all there is to it. Uh, what now? Oh, okay, then we go to a D major seven. This, this chord uses the bottom four strings of the guitar. So get this hand ready to grab onto those bottom four, and then you're gonna play the second fret on the third string from the bottom, and the second string from the bottom, and the bottom string. So you can use one finger and just mash down on all three, or you can use three fingers, it's fine. Whatever you wanna do, just make sure you're on the second fret of the bottom three strings. The fourth string from the bottom is open. You're gonna play that chord. D major seven chord, hold that out for eight beats. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we go to a D minor major seven. Yes. You heard me correctly. D minor major seven goes like this. First fret on the bottom string, second fret with the ring finger on the second string from the bottom, and second fret with the middle finger on the third string from the bottom. Play the bottom four strings. Oh, listen to that. Let's play the whole pre-chorus all the way through, starting from our F sharp minor, but you can use F sharp minor seven if you would like. One, two, three, Four, one, two, three, four, C sharp seven, uh, uh, F sharp minor seven, then the B nine, and then we go to the D major seven chord, hold it out for eight beats, D minor major seven chord, look at me, this is neat. Then we get to the chorus. And guess what the chorus is? That's right, exactly the same as the verse. We play the exact same thing, and that we've played it during the verse, you just can um, look like you're grooving a little more because this part is, is a grooving part of the song, guys. I gotta say, this song pumps me up in the morning. On like a Friday morning, you're feeling good. There's nothing in here. Friday morning, you're feeling good, you put this on, you do a little dance with your dog. Um, so, I mean, I've never done that. I've never done a dance with my dog to put your records on. Give me a break. That would be embarrassing. That's something that like, that's something that's like a, that's like a, uh, after we play through those chords two times for the chorus, then we get to this little post chorus part. It goes like this. It goes D major seven. Do you remember that one? We just hold it out for four beats this time. Then we go to the D minor major seven again. We hold that out for four beats and then we go bum, bum, bum like that, just that, hey, hey, hey. So the whole chorus all the way through goes like this. It goes, bum, 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 hey, uh, uh, hey, uh, exactly the same as the verse. Repeat it, bum, 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 okay, and bum, 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 watch out. Here we go, and bum, 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 and then D 
major seven, D minor major seven, and a bum bum bum. After this, we go through the whole verse again. Then we go through the whole pre-chorus again. Then we go through the whole chorus again, and then we get to the bridge. Let's learn the bridge. The bridge goes like this. We need to, we need a B minor seven chord. There's going to be pointer finger on the seventh fret of the top string. Second string for the top we're not going to use is to mute it or whatever. When I say mute it or whatever, what I mean is your pointer finger might want to just lean down onto it and touch it to mute it. Middle finger, seventh fret, third string from the top. Ring finger, seventh fret, third string from the bottom. Pinky, seventh fret, second string from the bottom. A lot of sevens over here. We're gonna go like this. Bum, bum, bum. That same rhythm. Remember at the very remember at the very beginning when I told you we were gonna be feeling that rhythm throughout the entire song? I think I was right. You have to admit, I was right when I said that. We're feeling that rhythm constantly, guys. We go B minor, oh, do it again. B minor seven, okay. Then F sharp minor seven. Pop quiz, do you remember the F sharp minor seven? That's right, it was on the second. You take that same shape, move it to the second fret. We're gonna do that twice. Then back to the B minor seven. Twice. Then we're gonna go like this. You ready? You ready? We're gonna go to a D major seven, but it's gonna be a little bit different than the D major seven we did before. You're gonna play pointer finger, fifth fret, second string from the top, ring finger, seventh fret, third string from the top, middle finger, sixth fret, third string from the bottom, and pinky, seventh fret on the second string from the bottom. Take a good look, guys. This is another different version of the D major seven. There's a reason why we're doing this version. I'll tell you in a second. You're gonna play the middle four strings. Uh, oh, you just play it once. You go just like that. Then we go back to B minor seven, play that once, and then go back to the D major seven. So the reason we're playing the D major seven like this, one, it's way closer to that B minor seven chord, but two, you don't have to move your pinky at all. That pinky is like an anchor. We go here, here, to here. See, keep, don't lift up your pinky. Hold it down the whole time. Let's play the bridge all the way through. One, two, three, four. Um, ba, ba, ba. Oh, down to the second fret. Stay there. Back to the seventh fret. B minor seven. Oh, B minor seven, and then D major seven, B minor seven, D major seven. Oh, guess what happens next? We play the chorus four times in a row. Chorus four times in a row, and then we're done with the song, and that's how you play Put Your Records On by Corinne Bailey Ray. See, the reason I, call, I always call her CBR, Credence Beer Water Revival.